I'd like to now introduce the collaborating with me, Fabian Fon. here last night you are for me of European poetry um, we're not quite at the end yet and it's an honor that I and my collaborator I won't even say his name um, <laughs> that we are allowed to take it to the end it's gonna take a while there's a number of steps and um, don't worry I'm gonna walk you we are gonna walk you through those steps I have a problem First step, um, I, um, first step is standing still. <laughs> um, standing still, um, still standing. Um, so if your goal is to stand still, which I'm not doing, as you can see, I'm still in this nervous pendulum defense movement. First step, you want, you want to have a plan. So the next step is to have a plan of how you actually stand still. Thanks, it's so hard to stand still. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, you want to get somehow your defenses up. You don't want to get them down, you want to get them up. Uh, you want to get the movement out of the upper body. And the way to do that, plan. What is my plan? Um, you want to put torque into your hips, fire up the glutes, <laughs> fix, fix the hips with the abs, shoulders back, shoulders back, uh, uh, ears over the shoulders, <laughs> and now I'm standing still, controlling my eyes if I can. Controlling my eyes. I am controlling my eyes. <laughs> Shh. Controlling the eyes. I'm um, controlling the murky waters that swirl and move me from inside. Resist, resist the moons of femininity <laughs> that wax and wane. Resist, stand still, still. Stillness, standing in stillness, still standing. Stephen, Stephen has a different problem. Stephen needs to lose his aggressive edge. <laughs> Stephen needs to lose his aggressive edge, which a number of people in the festival have actually told me that when they meet Stephen, they kind of tend to feel quite defensive. Intimidated. Intimidated, exactly. Shh. <laughs> Stephen, it's not about being a different person, okay? You can still be Stephen after this. <laughs> it is um, also not a bit about being completely passive. It's just about taking that little edge 
of your stillness, uh, of your aggression. Because if you were going to be passive, that would be like a form of aggression. You could please the lady with the red t-shirt uh, stay still, because that's where I'm focusing my eyes to stay still. <laughs> uh, shh, Stephen. Shh. My advice for you, Stephen, which it's a bit of a performance at this point because I already he already has my advice, but let's pretend he doesn't. My advice, Stephen. Yes. I come from a Catholic country called Austria, where we bear our suffering in stillness. <laughs> with dignity shh, shh, shh. with dignity and grace stillness <laughs> Stephen, dignity so I feel well, I'll pretend I feel I'm in a good place with my partner a place um, of stillness, of controlled aggression. <laughs> and from this place, the next step, the next step is um, to not kill that passion. Mm. We've got it under control. What's the next step? Right? Now we want to project it. Okay. <laughs> the next step is yeah. to project it, so I'm going to release. Yeah. <laughs> um, so well. And Stephen, I think this is your part, uh, which you know all about. Um, gosh, I'm already again. As soon as I let go, it's going to hard. Forward. It is hard. It is, it is. You're really good at it. So your part, uh, that's when poetry comes in. Yeah, absolutely. I've read the poem. <laughs> um, my poem is uh, simply entitled Anger. <laughs> Anger. Anger is a very hot drink you really want to drink. <laughs> Anger is a dog who isn't kind. <laughs> Anger is a terrible weekend trapped on a boat. Anger is too beautiful to be clever. <laughs> yeah, please read your poem. Um, my poem called uh, clinging, clinging to the Pen. <coughs> Cling. Thanks. Oh, thanks. <laughs> In here, so everyone can see. Here, clinging to the pen like it really means something. Clinging to the pen, not to write, but to be still, like a pencil in a pendulum. Clinging to the pen in a sea of words, in a puddle of flames, in a lake of fire. Such a good poem. It is. <laughs> It is a pretty good poem. I mean, you me in, me in to write this kind of stuff. And the good thing about it is the poem is the secret for the next step. It is a poem and a position. Because now we are actually going to take you to that lake of fire where I took Stephen already, the lake of fire. And this is going to be basically about how we went to the lake of fire and got stuck in a boat. Because actually the second time we met, um, we went, we actually decided we got on so well the first time we met. The second time we decided to go on a, a retreat together to, um, to explore our masculinity. Um, <laughs> Thank you for that keyword, Stephen. Thank you for the keyword. Really? No. Masculinity is the name of the game, and this is the boat. <laughs> this is the boat uh, which we were riding uh, in, a, in a very privileged setting. Um, Shall I go to the ne next one? Hold on, hold on Stephen. We are, it is Upper Austria, um, it's, I'm not going to tell you the name of the lake because I kind of want to keep it like that, um, unspoiled, so untouched by no one except Stephen and myself. <laughs> it's kind of end of season, we had a fantastic time, we really did, we were in the boat together. It was great, shall I get to the next one? Sure, let's, let's go on. Okay. And what I really want you to know is that the water in here is so clear, it is such a clear water, you can drink it, you can swim it. And Stephen discovered he can spend a week without deodorant <laughs> simply by diving and bathing in the water. And it's beautiful, there are cliffs on the other side. Um, so if it was September, the water was getting like below 20 degrees Celsius, whatever that is in Fahrenheit. But on the other side, there are these cliffs, and they are amazing cliffs with wild animal and they protected were, they vegetation. Were, they were great. 
the, I think the director of the Austrian Culture Forum has some brochures uh, <laughs> with all the details. Can you explain that? And these cliffs, they give off water and uh, they give off war warmth. They give warmth to the water. And we gave ourselves to the water and we set the water on fire. And the water, it certainly was on fire. And then I wanted to take Stephen to the mountains. But Stephen, he was he was also on, on fire, kind of. There was some fiery thing going on with, uh, with, yeah. with Stephen. Yeah, yeah. It was a difficult time for me. I yes? Can't, I can't <laughs> say why. I can't say why. Uh, just keep moving. Okay, so there were also great places where you can have food. Um, they serve grilled trout. Um, they put the trout always in spring, but it basically becomes a natural trout by the end of the season when they fish it, when they fish it out again. And I wanted to take Stephen over this lake of fire and retreating masculinity. It was, it was a treatment of mas. We were treating delish. our masculinity. It was the, I was just saying the trout was delish. The trout, it was really uh, delicious, although we actually never ate it, but that's a minor <laughs> detail of script oh, continuity. Sorry. And what happened then, we drove into the sunset and the water was burning, and I felt I was rocking. There was a rocking going on in the boat, and which often happens here since in the evening, there tends to be a kind of stormy situation. <laughs> Except this time round, the situation was a bit different because the water was completely calm, except for so fire. And the instability was not coming from the water. The instability, ladies and gentlemen, it was coming from Stephen. Well, Stephen's aggression it was, was making the boat rock. Oh, and my so instability nice. was well, making the boat rock. There was still. instability. Our masculinity Find was unstable. Our Fabian. masculinity Fabian. was not stable. We weren't able to. Fabian. Just find your stillness. <laughs> Just find your stillness. No, yeah, so. The slides always make you upset. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Stephen, for taking me out of this. In fact, Stephen is always one. He's always one. He knows always a way out. He knows the next step. And what we discovered, we have to, what Stephen actually taught me, and what he's teaching all of you with this fantastic festival. Thanks, by the way, Stephen, for organizing this. Um, we need to narrate masculinity. That's the next step. We need to narrate the real world. Don't retreat. Don't treat. Go into the real world. And that's the next step. So this is, um, it's, a writing, it's the next step, it's writing therapy. It's my uh, diary entry of uh, when I first met Fabian. <laughs> Fabian is wonderful in restaurants. It's mid-December 2018, and I have invited the Austrian author to spend four days and three nights in Berlin. So here we are. I spot him wearing a bright yellow puffy vest jacket standing between two Christmas trees. I warm up the I warm my face up to smile so I can give a positive first impression but not appear false. I don't want him to take one look at me and think I see a few brooding self-conscious days before me. <laughs> Fabian walks around the darkened streets of Berlin Mitte. He shows me his favourite shops including Tom's Hemp, which is very cool. <laughs> we nonchalantly develop a routine between us. I am excited. I can't believe we are both into performance enhancers. <laughs> Under my shirt, I am flexing. I am warming my body to be ready for battle. I can tell Fabian looks so strong that we're going to be post friends. I'll <laughs> read <laughs> my diary entry. Yeah. <laughs> um, same situation with different perspective, of course. And you write this in German, of course. Different, um, or Austrian. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I wrote it in German, but I translate immediately, so I hope. <laughs> Stephen, I feel really confident if I'm holding my own laptop. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you hold it. Um, <laughs> so I hope this is going to work. Um, Berlin Mitte, Berlin Mitte. Oh, it is in German, so I'm going to do it. Berlin, Mitte, the middle of Berlin. I hope I will recognize Steve. Steve and uh, I won't let myself be intimidated by Steve uh, um, so that I can give him a big warm hug. He is wearing a black leather jacket and he has a sharp haircut. I can barely stand still. I am trembling actually and I feel a bit shy but that is okay because we have agreed by email to talk openly about our weaknesses and vulnerabilities. 
<laughs> we come to Tom's Hemp Shop, a new shop for performance enhancing CBDs. We look at all the crap in the window. Concentration capsules, enzymes, legal Viagra. I don't know if it works, I don't take drugs. <laughs> but Steve seems pretty interested. Um, yeah, he seems pretty interested. I hope he will not um, ask me to do a CBD collaboration. <laughs> but there are, because it is, uh, oh, sorry, because it is a shop full of drugs, that does not mean we have to take drugs, or? No. Steve is laughing a bit too loud. He is, like you, uh, gentlemen. Uh, he's laughing a bit too loud, and he's already 10 steps ahead of me, putting his travel bag down in a Berlin park and taking off his leather jacket. And that's actually when I understood that when you're dealing with someone like this, the next step is to understand that defense is the new offense. <laughs> this is the next step, defending as attacking. <laughs> Do you mind still closing these buttons? <laughs> sure, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so I was thinking maybe like my right hand is a lot angrier than my left. <laughs> maybe we can start just with some right hand. Thank you so much for doing this. <laughs> Steve is not attacking me, I am attacking Steve. <laughs> Steve is you're not you're not attacking me. What do you want? I am attacking you. <laughs> Come on, defend yourself. <laughs> What's that? Take this. Take this. Take this. You should do some some kicks. That really helps. Yeah, they hurt those. Steve. My right thing is really. <laughs> dreading because it's going to involve you. You have to stand up. Please everyone stand up. Yes, that's the next step to stand up. You want to take your chair. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Okay, there's one step before this. Um, 
the, the second to last step is, is to thank you all for coming. And if you want to go to another uh, European Poetry Festival event tomorrow night, and thanks to the Austrian Cultural Forum. And you take your chairs and you bring them to the back. <laughs> <laughs> thanks.